Adobe Max conference just finished. And one of the biggest announcement there was it's Adobe Firefly free now can generate videos. Well, before we look how it's can do and how you will have a chance to access, let's look what our other competitions have so far. Of course, the Stable Diffusion, Stability AI announced a video and it was some time ago and it, if you are not played around the code available on a Git repository, uh, the GitHub repository, or you can go to Hugging Face page and download it from there. I have some videos about this, how we cover, and it seems like okay, but tell you true when you put it hands on, it does not look <laughs> like what's showing here. It is a little bit quirky and require a little bit time to adjustment, but it is processed much better than first versions. And of course, a runaway with the new generation three video, it is way step ahead. I did have a chance to play around and I can tell it's not bad how it's producing. Of course, with some models and everything you created, you need to be very um, specific what you're doing. I still have problems with the fingers, with some animations and faces, and you selling it wasted so many credits sometimes because does not produce necessarily the correct result at the beginning but generally it does for version 3 generation produce very useful result so you can actually use it in some of your videos of course they're from OpenAI Soro it's one first time come it was look stunning unbelievably cool but it still be not accessible I think it's almost a year past now and it's only just a uh, announcements and nothing there um it's still running in a very close beta and i think it's related a little bit to the uh some write and training issues i think this is where kind of hit the road not technology itself but more how the people can go and use it this one well let's go back to our adobe and if you was watching keynotes where it was presenting first online and i will drop all links down below for you so you can go by yourself go can check listening see what's going on um then you'll saw this announcement about the video ai so you can actually generate video well let's go ahead look a little bit closer to actually a page where they're showing a little bit more examples and give it us information before we go in a little bit more down to this and a look on the details what it, what is happening it is open for the beta but it is closed beta and you can try your luck by follow this link firefly.adobe.com and down below you will see it says generate video beta so this link it says create video video if you click on joint list then it will bring you to the page where we're going to check some of the announcement um, in my case, because I already applied for the beta, it doesn't pop up. But keep in mind, if you join beta, it's very strict right now rules. So you cannot post it some stuff out. You cannot display it. And it's very small, limited beta access. Well, good luck to try this. But let's go see what is Firefly Video promised to us. It can do it. And it's what can do better than other things. First, what they say, it's supposed to be a very real, very lifelike, with very good consistency. Well, again, they probably select the best of the best video. It's most likely what happened. But even right here, you can see how it's working. And it seems like I can see just small changes, but general, it's actually kept it very nice detail. So it doesn't jump too much out little bit on the dog eyes on the beginning you can see something right there changing you can see slightly and definitely they're using lens flare for us to hide some of that inconsistency but it's done very well i see very interesting effect with the animations what they've done in a creating 2d or 3d um like unusual font and everything that one should be generated a little bit better by the time in a segment i see it producing about two three seconds that's what mostly of them lock in but on a bright side this is you can generate from the prompt or from reference image which is make much nicer it's mean i can pre-create my character or i can draw or create my other things and animate them later or whatever um going in my story timeline in this case, for the creators, like what we're doing, it is you creating a storyboard 
and it will be more detailed storyboard and after you can put it in and animate the important things know about animation with adobe and it's make it different from stable diffusion runaway sora or other things right now it is they claim it is totally commercial safe to produce those videos and this is very important it's meaning what you produce animations there you're creating those videos you can use it fully 100 percent legally in your commercial products it's meaning and it's again from the notes that you can go ahead and check on the adobe again link um, they say the model is trained from all uh, or totally uh, public domain stuff which is everyone can access or with the purchase special licensing it's how they train the content so it's supposed to be 100 percent legal and they stand behind beside they make this initiative they inform people if image was created specifically with using ai so next they also have it always b rule and i see this is very useful because many times when i work on a project i'm missing maybe some segment on b rule and it seems like what they're focusing mostly on this and that will be very powerful again i'm looking on some right here examples they look very nice another one examples they're also showing how you can overlay effect which is TikTok, you know all the short videos probably will benefit the most because the video by itself can be a short few seconds and can very fast compile and create something very nice of course it's what i say design be commercially safe so you can use it as simple fast animations uh very interesting to actually when it's publicly <laughs> created videos coming out so you guys can check all of this how it's work and how it's uh, created but I just cannot wait when it's come to this because if you have a chance to play with Firefly before, it, some what they announced in previous Mac, it was kind of like, uh, I don't know how they pull this off, but they did. For example, generate vector graphics. And first time when I heard about generating vector graphics, truly vector graphics, I was very skeptical till actually I start using in Illustrator and after was creating. The concerns for me, one of the biggest concern right now, it is how people can use it to utilize credits. Because if we're using anything like Runaway, you have it your credits, you need purchase, uh, stable diffusion it can run on your machine or you can do some other online services that produce but if you're going with firefly and you look on some credits you'll notice the credits is in use for example here a thousand credits per month and as you're using those credits uh, in use so for the video it's definitely I don't know how they will access do they give it like 10 or 50 or depend on what video resolution you're doing we'll see how they access but if you don't know even you subscribe to adobe product you still receive only so many credits you can use it so it's not unlimited render so it's not like some other services you still need pay for this and you're paying in a credit so i'm interested to find out how much it will be again if you in if you are uh, want to try the video this beta and seems like this is public it's not closed beta it's a public beta but you need to join list wait list uh, then you can go apply here just go click on join list and fill up simple information it's information will be where you're from um, just name and uh, where you live I mean, I mean it's a simple you will have it your account they can look and see um, grant your access or not probably depend on the sum of this access I need to tell you that they did ask some um, question about account but it's very easy to fill up okay so this is one of the video AI of course on uh, Adobe Max there was announcing some other stuff and already released in Photoshop beta and some very impressive things but if you want to watch this, watch my other videos where we're going to review our new updates in Photoshop.